sponsored by your local Toyota dealer and Sterling Savings Bank. KXLY 4HD and Friday Night Sports Extra bring you the best seat in the house for high school football. Friday Night Sports Extra starts right now. Welcome to another year of Friday Night Sports Extra, year 23, and yes, I have been here for all 23 years of those. <laughs> Keith Oso, Ben Kaplan, Kayla Anderson will be along in Kayla's Corner a little bit later on in the show. Pretty calm night, pretty interesting night for the first night of high school football, Ben. Yeah, I had a good time and uh, lots of that tire stuff in my shoes from out at Albie, so that was great. All right. Let's just get right to it, shall we? We're going to start earlier this year. There's three questions every local football fan wants to know. Seahawks, Cougars, and East Valley High School, how are they all going to do this year? New head coach of prep, Dave McKenna, and things looking good for the Bull Pups early. That's David Stockton, the quarterback, looking around for the defense. Where are the Knights? Here comes Chris Zevick. He's going to track him down. 50-yard run for Stockton. The Bull Pups are in business, but they can't capitalize. They fumble the ball. Number 45 of East Valley, Tim Klein, recovers the fumble. He had three fumble recoveries. Another great number 45 at East Valley High School. The yeah, mighty, the, I wore number 45. The Mighty Knights capitalized. Nick Bellamy punches it in, but check this out. All Bull Pups in the second half, they put up 31 all after the break. They win it. 31 to 13. Also in the Valley University playing at home against Shadle Park tonight. And man, oh man, do they have a lot of cheerleaders out there. Tightens up 10 to nothing. They'd add on. Aaron Gleason with a 26 yard field goal. That makes it 13 to nothing midway through the second. Late in the half, Highlanders inside the five. Fourth and two. The Titans defense says, you shall not pass. They do not get the first down. Stops the drive right there. But the final minute of the half, Shadle Park fumbles the snap. Quarterback Chris Donahoe goes up top to Bo Schutzel. Just how they drew it up. That's a 50-yard touchdown pass. 13-6 to at the half. You high with the lead. Second half, all defense. Titans' Toby Tabish gets sacked hard by Jake Rogers and Shadle Park. But the Highlanders couldn't find the end zone the rest of the night. Donahoe trying to find something deep, but he's picked off by Aaron Blaska. That's going to seal the deal for you high. They go on to win this one at home. 13 to 6, you high. 1 and 0 on the season. All right, I had some fun down at Albi. As I said before, some GSL love. We're going to go ahead and start with the nightcap. Mead and Mount Spokane. The Wildcats went and took the early 7 0 lead. As you're seeing there, that's, that's, that's a freeze frame love, but you know what? There we go. All right, that's Mead actually going to go ahead and tie it up. Number four there. That's Max Pounder had the crunch. Matt Lynch all the way back for the reward. But you know what? Ensuing kickoff, Evan Pointer faster than anyone wearing white. He's off to the races. 99 yards for Mama's Baked Potatoes. The two touchdowns just 12 seconds apart. Wildcats back out to a 12-0 lead. But the fireworks were not over. Max Kaiser right into your living room to Ryan LeForte. He's not stopped until he gets to the painted stuff. That's 69 yards. But Mead would miss the PAT, and this one actually going to the Mead Panthers, that PAT would not matter as they go ahead and beat Mount Spokane in the opener, 29-22. Rodgers and CV starting the season on the sprint turf out at Albie as well. Rodgers kept it close to the first half, but the Bears getting seven right before the break. Blake Bledsoe rolls right, throws it right to J.C. Agent, who was wide open for six. 15 yards makes it a 10 the ball game. Third quarter, the wheels fall off for Rodgers. Bledsoe, peace. To Whitley, that's senior to senior connection, 42 yards and pushes the Bears lead to 24. The right when it seemed like the Panth or the Pirates might get on the board, the field goal try going to come up short and Whitley decides to Devin Hester it. He'll get touched once along the sideline on his way to the 100 yard return. I got tired running up stairs to the press box, so this guy must be absolutely exhausted. And as you see there, Central Valley exhausted. They got in the end zone plenty for the 31 to nothing win. The actual GSL season started last night. North Central and Ferris kicked off the year at Joe Albee Stadium. Mid-season form for the cheerleaders and the band and mid-season form for these guys. A long night for the Indians, already down 7-0. The Saxons would get more. Nathan Tanani finds a hole. See ya! 51 yards to the end zone, 14-0 at that point in time. A good night for the Tanani family. Little brother Jordan says, hey, I'm playing too. Gets the interception. And that sets up a score because on the very next play, the Saxons go deep. Connor Holiday goes upstairs, finds Aaron Roberts. What did Roberts do in this game? Three touchdown receptions. He returned an interception for a touchdown, and he drove the bus home as well afterwards. 54 yards, last night's winner, 49-6. to 
the final score there. Well, you've met the first three. Now we've also got another teammate, Kayla Anderson. In Kayla's corner, we'll be here all season long Woo! with highlights and some other fun as well. Exactly. I'm, I'm glad to have my own corner, Dennis. Yeah, now, now, now <laughs> to give equal time, Keith Oso, a East Valley Knight, we uh, now have a West Valley Eagle on our hands as well. We know. We, know, we throw <laughs> up all the time That's here. why he's over there and we're over here. <laughs> he's got to keep us apart. Well, we had some more prep action going on tonight. It was LC at Lake City. LC up 7 nothing already. Levi Taylor running the ball in for the touchdown. He says, get off me. Lewis and Clark up 14 nothing. How about this monster catch right here by Austin Elo? But he goes way out there and he's out of bounds. Nice effort though. But then, very next play, Tyler Eglett finds Vaughn Capico. He hands it off and Takes it in, no defense getting him. Touchdown, LC up 20 nothing, and LC dominating 39 to nothing over the Lake City Timberwolves. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, we'll check back in with Kayla a little bit later in her corner over there. And not, she's not in a corner because she's in trouble. <laughs> she's Just a an special. Eagle. Yeah, well, stop it, Keith. <laughs> Mighty night, Ayata. Hey, Southridge is in Coeur d'Alene tonight. The two teams, the Big Nine and the Coeur d'Alene Vikings. A little Washington-Idaho rivalry. Southridge up 13-0 with Coeur defensive end. Travis Ewart, he picks it off. He's going to go all the way. Man, he can run well through that earthquake, huh? Dream come true for Lyman, 17-13. But it would be all Southridge after that. Well, actually, I should say Will Everingham with a big hit here. Southridge recovers the fumble. And then watch Cameron Sanders, the nifty running back of the Suns. Into the pile, out of the pile. Into the end zone, 20 to 17. Southwood, yeah, that's it. Delivering a blow too in the end zone, 33 17. The final score there. Also, it was Mountain View over Post Falls tonight down in the Boise Valley. Uh, there you see Lewiston, a 39 win, nothing win over Clarkston, and uh, Mountain View beats Post Falls down in the Boise Valley. We're off to a running start here, Friday Night Sports Extra. Much more football to come. Plus, we're going to tell you how you can win an iPod right here every week. Friday Night Sports Extra. Coming up next, we're going to be right back. More high school football. And welcome back to Friday Night Sports Extra. Yep, now, something new this year. We're going back to the old school. We used to give away Friday Night Sports Extra hats. We're going to do it again, except <laughs> when you see one of our photographers, they'll be the pretty guys in the Channel 4 gear. And us three. And, well, yeah. Not He'll, so they'll have a hat on. He will trade you something. You're going to have to trade him something. Now, a dollar, a free program, no, that's no. not going to work. You've got to give good. us something. We've had all kinds of fun things, so if you see a guy, he's going to trade a hat, one hat per game, they're limited. And so, you might get on TV as yeah, well exactly. if you trade You something. will. The yeah. best trades of the night will get on TV. If you've just joined us, you've already missed half the show. We start way early this year, but if you missed anything, it's going to be on our website, kxoy.com. And also, all you got to do is go kxoy.com. And then click on right there, the big blue thing on top. It just takes you right to our new score page, and you can upload video, pictures, whatever you want. Every high school has their own page in here. So you upload a picture, a video, it goes straight to your high school's page. And every week, we're going to take the best picture, the picture of the week that was uploaded to our website right there on KXOY.com, and we're going to give away one of these bad boys. This is an iPod Nano. This baby has four gigs of space. It's going to give you all sorts of pictures, all, all video, songs, whatever you want. Every week right here, Friday Night Sports Extra, we got so many of them, they're laying around. iPod Nano, Picture of the Week, whoever uploads the best picture to KXOY.com. So don't forget to do that. I saw a lot of people on the sidelines tonight taking pictures. We want to see them on our yeah, website. Yeah, and we will have that next week and each and every week as well. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, in case you did not get a chance to go ahead and make it to all the games around the area today, I'm sure you didn't, we've got pictures here for you that actually move. Yeah, that's right. Timberlake in Moscow, first quarter. Jason Washington is going to receive the punt. He is off to the races yeah he's fast gets inside the 20 of timberlake next play well he did all the work to get you there so go ahead and let him get the reward that's washington up the gut for the touchdown it's at seven not the moscow then you know what we're going to stick with the moscow bears here this time the handoff they share the ball justin parkins he would set up another score and this one goes ahead and sticks with moscow they win this one handily 21 to nothing Let's take a look at another score here as well. Uh, Colville and Sandpoint, the Bulldogs squeaking out a one-point game down in Sandpoint. All right, guys. Well, I have to say Jim Missile, Cheney's athletic director, gave me $4 million tonight to trade in for a hat. 
And uh, got an early start, I guess. Well, first quarter, 3 nothing. Blackhawks. D'Angelo Jones fakes the handoff to Drew Aylman. And this guy has speed. No one able to catch him. He goes all the way down for 60 yards. Cheney goes up 10 nothing at this point. Lakeside, though, showing off their defensive skills tonight. Jones, he isn't going anywhere. In fact, he's almost down. They almost get the safety, but not yet. Fourth quarter action. Cheney trying to do something on third down. Watch Jones now. He goes to the left, goes to the right, and somehow he's going to get out of this and find his receiver all the way down. Sam Schallenberger is going to be open, and he's going to turn it in to a touchdown a couple plays later. 17-3 Cheney. Cheney goes on to win 30-10. to This one a big night for the Cheney Blackhawks. All right, we're also going to show you the West Valley Eagles, a team that if you're going to... Hey, that's our friend Rob Davis. No, is that Chuck Norris? No, it's Rob <laughs> Davis. He's got, he's got a kid on the team. He works here at KXLY, and that's the last time you'll see him, I promise. How about Eric Tennell? Wigan, wagon all over. And then paying the price. Oh, the hit of the night. Tyson Taylor laying the lumber out, huh? Eagles get the ball back. They go upstairs. Drew Clausen hits Brian Hafner. Oh, he's behind the defense the rest of the way. West Valley up big in this game, and the Eagles put it away. Clausen threw for 260 yards and three scores, and he ran one in as well. And West Valley goes on to win it big, and I do mean big, over the Afraided Tigers, 49-7. Kayla doing a dance over there, so Kayla's team is 1-0. and Keith is 0-1. Deer Park, a winner tonight at Chewila. Thanks to the call for the Chewila folks who didn't call us. We appreciate the Deer Park people giving us a ring. Riverside, a winner at Kettle Falls tonight. Lakeside had to change their game to Quincy because of um, vandalism. They win it 26-8. to And there you see Pullman, a winner at Ellensburg, 33-6. to that's a lot of fun over in Washington. Let's head back over the border into Idaho, one of the best places to watch a game out in Kellogg. Cheerleaders putting on a show. Wildcats with a lead at halftime. They're adding on Jordan Cochran. Nice long field goal. Wow, look at that. That's pretty long for a high school guy. 36-yarder, 17-7. Kellogg in the lead. But the Bulldogs of Grangeville came a long way. They weren't going to just fall down. Justin Polinski to Tyler Kunkel. Two-point conversion good. 17-15. Grangeville defense stuffing Kellogg. Cole Lewis. Nowhere to go. Look at that defense. And then Grangeville goes up top. Jason Lawrence takes the pitch from Poleski. Goes outside. Cuts it in. Into the end zone. After a while, he's giggity, giggity gone through the infield. Look at second base. Look at that. Look out for, look out for the shortstop. 21-17 at that point. Bulldogs, uh, they get it going. 27 to 17. Other scores over in Idaho. Priest River by two on the road against St. Mary's. And Lethbridge came down from Canada. They had an extra guy on offense, and they used that to their advantage. 39 to 14 winners. And I just want to go ahead and say I've already thought we'll trade hat for food. So that's what that says. You're right gonna, you can do with it whatever you want. We'll you just trade remember food. You that's that whatever the, you trade for, yeah. you have to bring it back. I have to share it? Well, yes. I'll bring it back right here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, while we digest that, we're going to go ahead and toss it to break. Still plenty more to come. <laughs> Stick with us. Davenport and Garpal were 11-man teams. Then Davenport was an 8-man team, then became an 11-man. Then Garpal was an 8-man. Now back to 11. You got it? Davenport, Garpal, excited because they're both back in 11. Well, maybe not excited so much for Davenport because it was all Garpal. Already up 26 to nothing. Gavin Burt to Todd Pinner, and he's in. Looked like John Riggins out of the two. And then Burt to a wide-open Tyson Palmer. The chicken man made it 33 to nothing. Davenport got the ball. Justin Wood. Oh, no, that's not good. He fumbles the snap. Garpal's pinner recovers. And the next play, watch. Burt give it off to J.P. Lang. Hmm, what's he going to do? He's going to get into the end zone. 46 to nothing. Garpal goes on to win this one in a big way. Springdale tonight making the short drive into Spokane to take on Valley Christian. Go at him. Absolutely. Springdale tonight pretty good. Panthers try the halfback pass. Brad Heaton is hit, picked off by Cody Pardon. He takes it all the way back, 6 to nothing. More Springdale defense in the first quarter. The inside handoff, the steal by Taylor to Graff. 12 to nothing at this point before Springdale's offense took a snap. 54-14, the final in that one. Also tonight, the Maniacs go to a Soton, and it was a Soton, a winner in that one. And Waitsburg Prestack shut out on their road opener in Oregon. Well, welcome back to Kayla's Corner.
Yeah, I know I feel so special over here. Well, we have something new to share with you this year, and it's called the Shining Star. And if you're not familiar with it, we've been covering these athletes for the past three years. They're able to work it out on the court and in the classroom. This Shining Star is Erica Norris out of Mead High School. She's been on varsity for two years now and enjoys every bit of it. She also maintains a 3.9 GPA in the classroom. She says she's happy to finally be a senior. It's really different because usually I'm looking up to a bunch of older people. Last year we had seven seniors and it's just weird to be the senior this year and not have anybody older to look up to. If you'd like to nominate a Shining Star, email us at shiningstar at kxly.com. That's one word, Shining Star. The only requirements, the athlete has to be a senior and their GPA must be a 3.5 or higher. Back you've, to been, Keith. you've been patient, guys. It's time for your favorite track meets with huddles. Eight man football. Kayla's a West Valley Eagle. We put her in a car and sent her all the way up to Curlew today. Welcome Picture. aboard, Kayla. Makes your perfect day. Here comes Ethan Manick up the gut. The quarterback takes it in. Eight to nothing with the two point conversion. The Cougars of Curlew on top. Tough day early for the Falcons. Brett Lamer. He gets swatted and picked up by Jamie Zervik. I probably said that wrong. Let's try Zerk, because I think that's yeah. probably right. And then uh, Curlew takes it over from there. More Manic tries to find someone he can't. He'll take it all the way in himself. Get out of the way. It's eight-man football. It's a track meet. And there he goes. And that's good. 15-0 at the half. For 15 to nothing at the half. They're on probation. 28-20. Other eight-man scores. ACH right where they left off. They win another one over Inchilium. Cusick, big one at home over Odessa. Uh, big one for Hunters, putting up 54 on the road. Uh, Wilbur Creston beating the Redskins of Welpinit. Lackwash invited a team that nobody can pronunciate to their town, and they beat the Eagles 68-20. to Kootenai with a big win on the road, 42 nothing, And Colton Pullman Christian, uh-oh, no report. Take care of that. Yeah, that's not good. And you met Kayla this week in Curlew, meaning that the new guy right here probably gets to go up soon. Yes, so when you are. see me, that's right. <laughs> Please go ahead and just say hi and tell the cows to get out of my way. All right, let's take a look at some more football in Idaho. Let's go uh, Wallace and Clark Fork, the Miners. They're from Wallace, but they play just down the road in Silverton, and I've got plenty of time to talk for this because he's got plenty of room to run. That's a 70-yard run. That's Jordan Benz. That's right, running like a... Like a Benz. All right, you guys just dropped me off right there and didn't say it. It's all good. Just Here we go. Trip. They're okay. After Clark Fork bubble, <laughs> back to Benz again. Who needs a Beamer when you've got a Benz sitting right in the lot? All right, 32-yard touchdown run. It's 14 nothing, and we're going to go ahead and finish up that score there, 54-6. to We've got one more for you as well. Mullen Tigers and Lakeside Knights. The Knights getting it done up in, or excuse me. Clark Fork That's suffering right. a case of the Benz today. Oh! I know. Just read the script, Dennis. When we come back, <laughs> Spokane Indians are in action. We'll preview tomorrow's college football as well. Friday Night Sports Extra. We'll continue. Well, they also play baseball on grass, and today was day two of the uh, National or Northwest League Championship Series between Spokane and Salem Kaiser. This a familiar sight. Yeah. Volcanoes managed to toss it. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Well, he got tossed. This ball almost gets tossed out of the park here. Jared Bolden off the very top of the wall. That's going to clear the bases, which were loaded. Three run score, obviously, and that makes it a 6-4 Indians game. You know what? They give the lead right back in the very next inning. Johnny Monell lines one out to the fans. Uh, they're not happy about that one. It's a six long ball of the season. It's now a 7-6 Salem Kaiser lead, but they couldn't keep the ball in the park. And Avista Eric Fry lets it fly to right center. It's a two run shot. And you know what? The Indians go ahead and win game two of this five game set. 11 to 10, and the last game of the season at Avista. Yeah, game three tomorrow in Salem Kaiser. Here's the schedule Cougars at home against Cal. Coverage starts at 1 30. The Huskies are at home. They start it at noon. Also tomorrow, the Vandals at home. Kickoff is at 2, and the Eagles in Boulder, 12 30 start time. Don't forget KXOY.com. Going to give away an iPod every week. Best picture uploaded. And also, trade in your stuff for a cool looking hat. <laughs> I know I look so wow. good. Wow. I'm just reading my script, guys. A million dollars for a hat? Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget the early start. We'll see you next week you on go. Friday Night Sports Extra. Kayla's paying us off. <laughs> yeah.